Okay, so we have a little surprise today. We have our new power supply. And so let's open it up and look. This is a Venus, Aptiva Venus. It's pretty much the cheapest power supply I could find, which is, you know, not what people say to get, but this is what I needed to get for our uh, cheapo, cheapest possible home server. So that's about it. We got some screws, got some directions. Let's take a look at it. It actually looks pretty nice. Looks like it's more expensive than it actually is, but uh, we got a, even an on-off switch on the back, which is nice, which the old one didn't have. Uh, this one is actually 450 watts. Hopefully we have all the right connectors here. We might have to have a few adapters, uh, but we should be pretty good. And so let's put it in. Okay, so now we have to fit the power supply in. And it's actually a pretty beautiful power supply, I think, for being so cheap. There we go. And so now we got to put in the screws on the side here. One thing I liked about this uh, power supply is that it has the big open fan on the bottom. Uh, most of the cheaper ones uh, didn't have that. And this is actually the cheapest one, which again, I know in the comments below people say, don't buy the cheapest one. But again, this is the idea. This one is to have a server for as cheaply as possible. Uh, you can see I added back in the uh, other RAM and we have in the uh, Gigabyte NIC card. So now I'm going to take off this. Uh, I did take out the DVD burner because we'll never be using that. And so now we have to untangle this here. And so first we're going to plug in the motherboard. That's this one right there. Should pop into place. There we go. Good. And then now we're going to put in the header. over here. Very good. Nice popping sound there. That's always good. Okay. And so right now we have two power supplies or two two hard drives in there. Uh, one came out of a broken machine, so the one on the bottom, so we might have to replace that. But let's see if we can Plug in these two and see what happens here. And it's much easier to do this uh, with the hard drive that, which actually I might do. So let's take that out. Okay, and I'm going to press this button there, that pops right out. And these are attached with short cables, so. Not going to move too far. There's some pretty long cables in here. If you have a big case, you'd be very happy. 
Now we, we do have a few extra left over, which uh, we're going to be using for uh, a uh, SSD probably right here and maybe an extra hard drive. We'll see how things work out there. So right now we're just going to stuff all those right here. Actually, we're going to be able to stuff them all up here. Okay, good. So now the next step is uh, we'll put the cover on and we'll plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so I got the power supply hooked up and the computer is all hooked up. So what I'm going to do now is just turn it on. We'll see if it starts and if it does, good power supply. Okay, here we go. Turn on the monitor. There goes the computer. Let's see what happens. And it's booting, so good job. And there goes to the Grub installer, so thumbs up for the Aptiva power supply. Uh, it may be cheap, but it works, and it's very good for old computers like this one. So if you have an old computer that you want to uh, get back into shape, use it for like a home server, I, I would say that this is a good choice and your wife will be happy.